What's going on, Call of Duty refugees and toxic gamers? I am really, really shocked to be bringing you fellows this video, okay? I'm not sure how this happened, but apparently the Call of Duty BBC riders, the Call of Duty haters, the toxic gamers, the Call of Duty refugees, the D riders, everybody's like on the same page though, and everybody's excited. People are excited, man. People are excited for Black Ops 6. People are shaking. Maybe not you, but I'm seeing people being excited, except for the homie Blame Trust. Quite frankly, I'm not sure how he's gonna be making like another bad news video for Call of Duty, but he's gonna find a way, I think, right? Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you don't like the friendly baby! We're gonna actually get into it. Shout out to the homie Nero. Roll it. And my goodness, we have a lot of awesome stuff to go over here in today's video. After okay. all this time, okay. Treyarch has finally revealed how progression is going to work within Black Ops 6, and I've gotta say, I am really happy with what they came up with. Ever since skill-based matchmaking took over the franchise, I feel like a lot of us yeah. find our fun in challenges, grinding camos, and working towards new things. We all still love COD, we hate how the matchmaking works, but we still want to play, and at least for me personally, having tons of stuff to work we all love cod do you guys love cod let me know work towards makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable and okay, boy did they ever go all in okay cut to the chase brother let's find out what they announced man because there's a little bit of bad news hey hey i lied i lied there is some bad news we're gonna get to it but uh, apparently overall the the news is actually really good though I, I gotta be honest though on progression here in this game as you can see it's gonna be a rather long one we have a lot to go over so let's just go ahead and jump into it with prestige mode since other aspects are kind of self-explanatory we of course are going to start off at level one then go through 55 levels and each level is going to give us new guns and score streaks and equipment and all that stuff but okay. the real fun starts at prestige one uh -oh. as we learned previously prestige rewards are going to be a thing and first prestige is going to be inspired by the origins of zombies from call of duty world at war as soon as you hit first prestige you instantly Instantly unlock this Nocturne Totem themed no! Weaver skin, which looks incredible. It's like a World War II themed zombie, essentially. Okay. And then at Prestige 1 level 10, you're going to be getting this Therese loading screen and social wallpaper. Uh, honestly, like Prestige 1 looking kind of good, man. I want to know your thoughts, man. But see, I feel like that there's a catch. There's There bounds to be a catch, though. There's got to be a catch with this profile when people click There's on your name be. at prestige one level 20 you're going to be getting a one hour double xp token as well as okay. a gobble gum pack at prestige one level 30 you're going to get this animated zombie that's it that that's that's it that's it <laughs> <laughs> the skin is good the skin is good but just double xp this like can a brother get like more than that? Can a brother get like 10,000 Call of Duty points? Can a brother not get skill based matchmaking? Can a brother not get like cheaters in the game? Can a brother get Black Ops 6 for free? For everybody? Even if you have Game Pass or not Game Pass? You know, that's what I'm talking about. Like the video if you agree, guys. Zombies Emblem, at Prestige 1 level 40, you're Wait going to get it. the insta-kill power-up weapon charm, and at Prestige 1 level 50, you're going to unlock the Teddy is a Liar blueprint for the C9 submachine gun, which gives it a zombies-themed Tommy gun look, which is freaking oh, wow. incredible. I literally said this is something I hope to see with Prestige rewards. I may have even given the example of the Tommy gun in my video, so that's really mm. cool to see here. The entire first Prestige is themed around World at War Zombies, and every subsequent Prestige is going to be themed around something else from the Black Ops universe, which That's is good. freaking incredible. Yeah. Here are going to be the 10 prestiges that we have in Black Ops 6, and this menu right here is kind of nice because it seems to show individual stats per prestige, which is kind of oh, wow. cool. You can see exactly how many kills you got and what your KD was throughout each of these individual prestiges, but Treyarch did not stop there. They gave us a teaser of some of the future prestige rewards, and they even detailed what we're looking at. So here- So essentially, like, every time you now prestige, you're gonna be able to unlock an exclusive skin this is honestly very good though i'm like wondering like there's gotta be a catch with this one because with activision there's always a catch and so far what we're hearing is that there is no catch that is wild okay honestly very very good news i'm still shocked that this is not locked behind a paywall th that this is not for 20 dollars because right like if this is for free of course you're buying the game like duh but you're buying the game and then you play the game and you're gonna unlock this by playing the game i feel like that there's gonna go they're gonna go crazy with like the bbc bundles and you know charging people like 20 dollars 40 dollars i think they're but they're gonna go crazy but so far i'm si i'm still in disbelief that this is actually for free in the game of course after you make a purchase or you get it through game pass right still shocked though still shocked but wait for it 
Over on the left, we see an operator skin that we get at Prestige 3 level 50, which is called My Name Is, which is supposed to invoke the intense legacy of Alex Mason and Victor Reznov. It's a guy with a hood, which looks pretty cool. Next to that, we can clearly see what looks like a Menendez-themed operator that we yeah, get clearly. at Prestige 5 level 50. In the middle, of course, we see the Prestige 1 rewards and a better look at that Thompson blueprint for the C9, which just looks so freaking good. To the right of that, we see a skin for the op- Damn, man, like the homie Nero is just letting himself go, bro. Like, he <laughs> he's like hyped up, he's hooked, he's like, yeah, guys! Oh, and you know, he's oh, like the shaking. homie- He's, he's like the homie Mr. Dalek, Jitty. He's shaking, he's shaking. I mean, that's fine, that's cool, though. It's uh, shaking over a video game. That's cool, man. Like, there's like, man, bad news after bad news. So finally, we got some good news. So, man, that, that I though. It is I. It is I. Operator Maya, and the skin is called Maya? Specialist Fan that mixes together different aspects of the Specialist Battery from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 that will be unlocked at Prestige 7 level 50. They also went on to describe a blueprint for the XM4 that's going to be Nuketown themed, and they described another blueprint for the SWAT 556, which is going to be themed all around the giant robot from the Zombies map Origins. Mm. And basically, every Prestige is going to have five rewards tied to it, so literally, okay. once you hit first Prestige, you're now unlocking new content every 10 levels from the time you hit first that's prestige good, good, all good, the way good. up to prestige master which is honestly just so freaking good a yeah lot that, that's honestly good i mean for the longest amount of time suckers were like hey man we want the prestiges back but we also need some sort of incentive to prestige because yeah right you're gonna prestige and all your ranks gonna reset like yeah right like get mama with that man the only reward would be like uh, hey look at me i'm prestige this and that which was honestly cool as a kid back in the days i would all this prestige and when they removed the prestige it's like because prestige is call of duty call of duty is prestige prestige is such a big thing for call of duty so yeah when they removed it a lot of people were like hey man where's the prestige man you're gonna bring in the uh, friendly uav online you're gonna bring in the retard helmet blame truth is gonna bring the retard helmet why not bring the prestige back and they they brought it it's like the original prestige system it's the same thing as before where you prestige uh, you're gonna lose your ranks you're gonna get one unlocked token you're gonna get a prestige emblem but on the side too you're gonna be unlocking different skins that you wouldn't otherwise that's what they're saying and this is a news and it sounds good it really does sound good but i'm in disbelief that activision is giving us all of that for free Y you know what I mean, right? Maybe, maybe uh, there's gonna there's gonna be a catch. There's gonna be a catch, I think. Let's see. By the time it's gonna, gonna come gonna down to probably one skin and one weapon blueprint per prestige, along with different calling cards, weapon charms, emblems, weapon XP tokens, and things of that nature. Just yeah. honestly, it's wonderful. This is classic prestige, which is what we've wanted in COD for a long time, ever since they took it away in Modern Warfare 2019. Like, it's weird to think prestige yeah. mode has been gone for like five years. Prestige mode crazy. went away before COVID hit, which is freaking crazy. COVID feels like that was forever ago, right? That was the last time we saw prestige mode. It was all the way back in 2018 with Black. Black Ops 4. Well, it's finally back, but this time it's better because not only is it classic prestige, but you're getting mm. tons of rewards mm -hmm. and the prestige icons are all themed. Now, it's good news day, but a good news day is still not enough without a little bit of bad news. And this is what happened, guys. Shout out to the homie Tridzo. So I heard this and yeah, there are seconds are also talking about it. So I want to show you this roll up. The HQ update is live. I'm not gonna lie. It completely broke the game. A couple of different things. First off, there was like Captain Price jump scares popping up for everyone. So that I'm not Wait, gonna lie, it completely tells for that link down in the description. But anyways, Wait, let's go ahead and let's jump into it. So the new Call of Duty HQ update is live. I'm not gonna lie, it completely broke the game. A couple of different things. First off, there was like Captain Price jump scares popping up for everyone. So that's just number one. The second thing is it looks like it reset some people's settings to where if you had audio sounds not play while you're in the Call of Duty HQ or in the main menu. From my understanding, the other settings are good to go. They even ask you to adjust and change your settings. So there is some new alternate uh -huh. ones that are dedicated mainly towards Black Ops 6 that you're gonna have to adjust and tune and it oh, showcases wow all that when you fully load up it is going to ask you to restart your app a couple of different times which that's just the standard call of duty stuff what that's i don't like standard. is it also will require yeah sickers are so used to it people are used to it the call of duty fans are used to it are you yeah. to close the call of duty hq app and open up call of duty when you try to load up warzone or modern warfare 3 is multiplayer so it's not really too different compared to what we've seen with the past call of duty hq on top of this there's also a brand new intro that also plays whenever you load up the oh, game wow. this is oh, like wow. the treyarch version of things so they have the black ops 6 theme now going on with that the update file size in itself was also a little bit larger as I mentioned before, if you're on... Yeah, just a little bit larger, guys. Just a little bit larger. 
<laughs> that that's the thing, man. The Call of Duty fans are all <laughs> they're always getting dig down, bro. Like this is this is crazy, man. Uh, a little bit larger. How larger? It's above like hundred gig or some crazy stuff like that, right? And all in all, it's gonna take up like three hundred gigs. I only have Black Ops Cold War and Black Ops Three installed, and it took over three hundred gigs on my PS5, bro. You cannot make this up, man. And if I get this game, so far I have not pre-ordered, let me know how many of you guys are, have pre-ordered, but the good news that we have today, it, yeah, it does sound very, very good, right? So, uh, how many of you guys are pre-ordering this game, or how many of you pre-order, you're looking to buy, you're looking to wait for it? I feel like that I'm gonna wait a little bit, I feel like that at least, like, the first day I'm gonna see, like, zombies gameplay. For multiplayer, it had though. It wasn't. It was better than Conquered when I played the beta, okay? It was better than Dustborn as well. <laughs> it was bad. Guys, come on now. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, okay? The truth is, it was better than Conquered and better than Dustborn. Alright? So, I did enjoy my time playing the beta. So, multiplayer, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, man, we're gonna have cheaters. We're gonna have skill-based matchmaking. Uh, and we're also gonna get the prestige rewards as well, thank you! You know, the prestige rewards and all the good news that we're getting. Yeah, the game's gonna crash, maybe you have to restart a couple of times. Yeah, that I, that I, but to me, zombies is the most important. I wanna know about zombies, though. So. PlayStation, they unfortunately make you download Black Ops 6's multiplayer, even if you did not pre-order the game. So I've seen some comments there in regards go. to the download size, and it looks like that may be the reason why, because it's downloading Black Ops 6 in itself. It also did the pre-download for everyone else who has pre-ordered the game. So Bruh. you guys should be good to go and ready for Black Bruh. Ops 6 when it does launch. Come Call of Duty HQ gotta go, bro. It gotta go, it gotta go, it gotta go. Okay, let's get back to some good news here. Around different aspects of the Black Ops universe, you're getting tons of different things. Like, overall, this is so freaking good, but we're not stopping there. After rising through all the ranks, eventually you're going to, of course, make it to Prestige Master, and there are yeah. going to be even more rewards there, so oh. let's go ahead and take a look. As soon oh. as you hit Prestige Master, you're going to unlock this skin for Marshall called the Sitting Bull Reborn, which what? is kind of themed after the... Yo, that's a, that's a homie, uh, the... the what? That's a BBC Online, though. Damn! That's a friendly UAV Online. Man, so friendly UAV Online really getting a face reveal. That's crazy. Though. That Black is crazy. Ops 6 cover art. For me personally, so straight from Black, uh, straight from Modern Warfare 2022. I like that. I like that. So we got that continuity. That's good. That's good. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So they're bringing back the bundle, right? I think it's a bit bland. They say that it captures the essence of 90s military, but I suppose I was hoping for something a bit more flashy, something that stands out a bit more, something that's more instantly recognizable. We're hitting Prestige Master. I feel like, bro, bro, chill. You want something flashy? You want something flashy? that it, it doesn't look what what did he say run that back more flashy something that stands out a bit more something that's more instantly re so you want like something that stands out and instantly recognizable i know i hear you brother but you know this uh, bundle was in modern warfare 2022 and they're going back to like the uh, you know the, the the 90s the 80s so they're trying to keep it like light-hearted like that okay they're they're not making it like super flashy okay they're not out there like flashing okay like it ain't like that okay it ain't like that so chill brother chill i think it's fine i think it's fine recognizable we're hitting prestige master i feel like when people see this skin running around the map they're going to just assume it's a default character because it's not really that unique i mean it might look better in the game but the image it looks kind of bland i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see and then at prestige That's master fire. level 90 we're going to unlock this amos 85 assault rifle blueprint which will be animated and it of course has a bunch of redacted bits on it as well as the words prestige master so that looks pretty good and they also claim that if you hit prestige legend which is prestige master level 1000 there are going to be additional rewards but right now those are classified so i suppose the really crazy stuff might be unlocked then I am curious what other rewards will be there because so far they reveal yeah, a skin yeah. that you get instantly for hitting Prestige Master and then a blueprint at Prestige Master level 90. And then, of course, there's rewards at level 1000. But are we talking about essentially 910 levels where you get nothing in Prestige Master? That would be exactly. a bit weird. Is this all that we're going to get or will there be more? I guess we're going to have to wait and see and exactly. time will tell. But one other aspect of Prestige Man, like this is sounding really, really good, bro. There's gotta be a catch, man. What's the catch, brothers? What's the catch, man? What's the catch? Yeah, Call of Duty fans are really, really getting excited right now over stuff, simple stuff, man. Stuff that we had back in the days. Yeah, they're bringing the, the prestige rewards. They're actually doing something new with it. Something that the fans wanted for years and years. In fact, we should have had that years and years ago. But hey, whatever, right? Better late than never. And now they're bringing back in. Yeah, it is uh, looking good, right? So just over simple stuff like that, the fans are excited, bro. That, that is crazy to me, bro. That is crazy to me, like, how depraved the fan base has been and how depraved they got us for... for so, they have got us like this for so long that just a little, like, 
a drip just a little drip of content is having a reaction from the community like this essentially that it's insane man because a lot of people are really excited and i'm looking at it i'm like yeah bro like it does look good jokes aside it does look good it does look good so prestige master is going to be the return of this system right here which allows you to customize your prestige icon i've always been a massive fan of this basically every 100 levels you unlock a ton of old school icons from seemingly every call of duty game at level 100 mm. of prestige mm. master you get all the first prestige icons at level 200 you get all the second prestige icons at level 800 you get all the eighth prestige icons so on and so forth right and this time around oh, wow. it's not just going to be treyarch prestiges but rather we have everything from call of duty 4 to the original modern warfare 2 call of duty ghost and advanced warfare for me personally i'll definitely be rocking the world of war icons i love using those so much but it would be really hard for me not to rock the gold cross the old mm. iconic cod 4 10th prestige icon if i were to ever hit prestige master level 1000 history shows that i probably won't even get close the furthest i ever got was level 550 or so in black ops 4 but that's because that game was awesome and had no skill-based matchmaking so i guess we'll have yeah. to wait and see what happens and, and that's the thing right like we still have skill-based matchmaking and as Albert Einstein once said, no matter how good a Call of Duty title is, if it has skill based matchmaking, it is Shiza. Albert Einstein said <laughs> that year but yeah prestige mode is freaking fantastic in this game i'm curious about extra prestige master rewards but overall the entire system is so freaking good treyarch did a fantastic job with this next up let's talk about the weapon camos and how all that is going to work in black ops 6 you will no longer need to level up your gun to unlock its challenges all challenges are going to be available right away which is a very old school way of going about things and they decided to double down on that old school mentality a oh, bit wow. because to do your challenges in this game you're going to need headshots and lots of them every gun is going to have nine military camos for you to go through which in total is going to require 100 headshots once oh, you have man. all the military camos unlocked, you then get the special camo challenges. These challenges are going to be unique to the weapon or the weapon category. An example they showed in their blog post is here on the XM4. You have to get 30 kills shortly after sprinting. Once you get through these special camo challenges on a gun, you then get a new challenge to unlock gold camo. And then once you're done with that, you might as well just move on to a new gun. Because, of course, to get diamond, you have to get gold on every single gun in that every category. For yeah, example, yeah, yeah. when it comes to the assault rifles, you need to get gold on all seven assault rifles. And then after you do that, apparently you get a new challenge to unlock diamond camo. Next up after that, we have the dark spine oh, camo. And to get God. its challenge. You have to get diamond camo on 33 weapons, and then after that, we finally have dark matter, where of what? course you get its challenge by getting dark spine on 33 weapons. It's all very linear, and it does sound like this camo grind is going to be a bit longer, or perhaps a bit. Oh, uh, it's going to be real pain though. But honestly, I'm still shocked that they're adding grindability. I still hope that the grind is not like super pain, because it sounds like that. At least from the the weapons it's gonna be super pain it's gonna be pain and that ultimately especially with the today's uh, attention spans people that today's attention span that people have I, I feel like that people are just gonna be like in the shop and they're gonna be like okay let me just go ahead and buy like another friendly uav online let me buy that skin let me get that skin you know what i mean right like people are not gonna have the patience for it patience for it so maybe this is the catch that they're gonna make it like extra pain to grind i guess but so far it's sounding good maybe it, it, it's the nitpicks so it's the nitpicks bit shorter than what we've seen recently depending on how good you are getting headshots i imagine this is going to be the most time consuming aspect of the process so if you're grinding hardcore Probably. or maybe you're just really good at clicking heads you might speed right through these but i'm curious to see if the requirements are going to be different per category or if it's just hard stuck at 100 headshots in multiplayer shotguns for example yeah. would be a pain in the ass to go get 100 Long headshots range, with. pistols would be a pain as well compared to things like assault rifles for, for shotguns uh, wasn't it wasn't it different i feel like that it was kind of different in one game though like uh, you also need long range though right yeah shotguns of uh, headshots with shotgun gonna be difficult perhaps not i feel like that the the, the hardest would be the long range uh, kills which might be a bit easier and i don't even want to think about how hard it would be for me to get sniper headshots with everybody in my lobby but sliding around the map do the skill based matchmaking <laughs> so we'll yeah. see in previous years it would do the things like it's 100 moment, headshots well. for assault rifles but only 75 for some machine guns only 50 for shotguns all they said was 100 in the blog post i'm not entirely sure if they're gonna be changing that up but of course time will tell oh we were like i feel like that they're gonna change it to like 300 bro because they need the money man they they need you guys on the shop you know and we're going to be finding out because the game goes live in just four days at the time this video mm. being posted. Now, some extra notes I want to give you guys is that the challenges for camos are going to be specific to each it mode. So the 100 it. headshots, that's only going to be for multiplayer. In zombies, it's kind of the same, I suppose. You have oh. to get critical kills on zombies. And then in Warzone, the base military camo challenges are going to be tied solely to eliminations. Not so this is for, like, Warzone. Uh, the Gold Tiger camo honestly does look very good. So you're telling me that all of this is grindable? We can play the game and get it? Because it, it's so hard to believe it now, man. After what these suckers have done all these years, all these past years, it's so hard to believe it that you're just gonna get the game, you're gonna play the game, you're gonna grind, and you're gonna get all that. It's it's hard, man. Like, I I'm sorry, but it, it really is hard to believe.
that what I'm seeing is actually in the game. Just by me getting the game and playing the game, I'm gonna be able to get all of that. Yeah, right? Like, are you sure about that, though? just headshots or anything like that. And it's also worth mentioning that these special camos, once unlocked, can be used on any other gun in the game, like we saw in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, but the base no. military camos are unique to that gun and that gun alone. So, for example, if you unlock oh, Red wow. Tiger for your XM4, you only have it for your XM4. You need to then unlock Red Tiger for your AK to be able to use that camo on the AK, just like how the old camo systems used to be in previous Call of Duty titles. Next oh, up here, oh. let's talk about challenges. Calling card challenges are back, but they seem to be pretty standard and just like they were back during Black Ops 4. I was hoping there would be something crazy that you got for getting 100% center, but it seems like it's just going to be the animated calling cards that were revealed back during Cold Duty Next. Bad, not Basically, there are going to be career not challenges, bad. hardened challenges, and prestige challenges that unlock with each new prestige. As you do these challenges, you get new calling cards, and if you complete every career, hardened, and prestige master challenge, you will get the 100 percenter calling card. And keep in mind, these challenges are going to be different for multiplayer, zombies, and wars. Now, honestly, bro, it does look very, it's sounding very good. I'm still gonna wait a day or two before making a purchase decision. I hope zombies is fun. Check out this video on the screen recently a massive cheater was also caught in call of duty we got a big problem with cheaters check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there